Hello, this is all about improving your paintings with acrylics. Now I'm going to show you how versatile acrylics can be. We're going to start with a watercolour technique. So, water down the acrylic as you would do normally with watercolour and just paint your tree shape like that. Then with a darker colour, this is some, uh, some hooker's green with a little bit of ultramarine and you can put that dark colour into the side of the tree like that, just the same as a watercolour. Then with your fingernail, you can do that. Or if we had a lighter tree, this is some pale olive green with a little bit of yellow ochre. Let's do that, so it's fairly light. Then with a darker colour, some hooker's green, drop that into the side of the tree like that. And again, the fingernail like that. Or maybe a conifer tree, you paint one side first, then with a darker colour, just paint the other side that. Just blend that in, then some grass underneath, just flick up. Maybe a palm tree, burnt umber, not too wet this time, and just drag that over the surface of the paper. Plenty of colour on the brush, just try it out to see if it's not too wet. Lay the brush down and just slide the brush away like that. And some grass underneath. Or maybe a fir tree, like that. A few small brush strokes for the top of the tree then just push the brush into the paper and zigzag from side to side. Base of the tree there and some grass. Next I'm going to show you a few trees using an oil painting technique. So we'll start off with a tree trunk with some burnt umber and some hooker's green. This is the half rigger. Just paint in tree shape, like that. Then, squeeze the water out of the brush so it's not too wet. Pick up a dark colour. This is um, some hooker's green and just push the brush into the paper so it's really quite thick. Do that. Wash the brush out, and while this is still wet, with a lighter colour, this is some pale olive green with a little bit of white, so this is for the highlights on the tree, and then you push the brush with a lighter colour onto the surface. Now, what's happening is you're getting that opaque light colour, but it's actually mixing with some of the dark. then let it dry. Or you can do it this way. Again we'll start off with a tree trunk and some branches. Exactly the same beginning. So you block the tree in first with a dark colour. So plenty of colour on the brush. Push the brush into the paper. So there's the dark Flick up the grass underneath. Then we let it dry. When this is dry, then mix up the light colour again. This is same colour, pale olive green with some white. 
This time we stipple over the dry background. Completely different effect. What I'm going to show you now is um, some tree trunks done in the same technique as before. So first of all we're going to start with sort of a, a wet into wet style. So some burnt umber and some hooker's green. So there's more green than burnt umber. Paint in your tree trunk. Maybe a branch here. Wash the brush out and while this is still wet mix up a light colour, some white, some yellow ochre and some pale olive green and go up like that. Now what's happening here is that the paint that is on the tree trunk already is now blending with the white. So you can soften it that way. Maybe just a highlight on there and just soften that edge. Or you can do it this way. Same colour for the tree trunk. Burnt umber, some hooker's green. Make it quite dark. There's that branch coming out. But this time we let this dry. Then we add the highlight which is some white, pale olive green and just a touch of yellow ochre. Drag that down like that and then with your finger you can just soften it, make sure it's dry and just smooth it out like that. Maybe a little bit lighter on the edge. Highlight on there. But because this is dry, sometimes you get the hard edge, so just soften it with your finger. We're going to move on to putting texture into paintings. I'm going to start with this. Um, this is a, a texture paste. Now you can apply texture paste with a, a palette knife. The, the canvas is actually a rough surface canvas, but uh, so you can just ladle this stuff on. So if you're doing maybe a, a stone wall, old farmhouse or some brickwork, or you can use a stiff haired brush, pick up some texture paste and actually stipple like that. So you get another type of texture. This is almost like a modelling clay. So uh, just put it on and just let it dry. It will take a little while to dry, so be patient. Don't have a cup of tea. Once the texture paste has dried, it's still quite flexible. This is on a, on a canvas and it won't, won't crack. Then with some, the same colour we've got here in the background, which is some white and some burnt sienna. So you can paint over that, like that, different colours. So we've still got that texture. Maybe a darker colour. But you could then add maybe a glaze over the top of that as well. So just again, let this dry off. What you can then do is add a glaze over the top. Now this is some glaze medium. I'm going to mix it with some ultramarine and a little bit of burnt umber. So it's sort of a gray color. And just paint that over like that. Just in places. Wash the brush out. Then with some kitchen towel, just wipe off like that. And it leaves 
the darker colours in some of the crevices. So you get another form of texture. Then when that's dry, with a dark colour, this is again burnt umber and ultramarine, you can then pick out different stone shapes. So if this is a, a stone wall, then put some detail in. So almost a, a 3D painting. And of course, you can, can actually add, obviously, other colours on top of this. This is a, a lighter colour. So if you have different stones, just a bit of highlight on there. Change the colour slightly, some raw sienna. When this is dry, you can feel the different textures on the painting and it just shows you how versatile acrylics can be.